They're all in under orders, and they're away. And a pretty good even break, too, though Kilvarnet was a little bit slow away. And as they settle down in the early stages, Itam Vagala has gone on from the Princess Royal on the inside on ten no trumps. And on the outside comes Emperor Hotfoot behind them, Hamlul. And then on the inside is Common Cider Gypsy just behind them, Tahila. And it's Itam Vagala in the lead as they pass the six furlong pole from ten no trumps in second. Then third is Emperor Hotfoot. Four is Common Cider Gypsy. Then comes Tahila. Then Hamlul on the outside. Then making good ground just behind him is Water Boatman as they race past the five furlong pole. Still Itam Fagala in the lead from ten no trumps. In third is Emperor Hotfoot. Close. Then Common Cider Gypsy. Then Tahila in fifth behind Tahila. Hamlul. Then Torrance. And then comes Water Boatman with on the outside of Water Boatman. Ronda Ling going well, but as they race to the home turn, it's just Ten No Trumps who hits the front from Emperor Hotfoot. Ten No Trumps into the straight in the lead, the Princess Royal from Emperor Hotfoot and Gay Johnson Horton, then comes to Hiller on the outside, in for Gala's losing ground, making quite good ground behind the leader still is Ronda Ling, they're coming down to the two furlong pole, and it's Ten No Trumps who's hit the front over on the far side, Ten No Trumps from Common Cider Gypsy in second, and Tahila coming there strongly on the stand side, but it's Ten No Trumps and the Princess Royal in the lead as they enter the final furlong from Common Cider Gypsy and Tahila the favourite, and getting a tremendous cheer, the Princess Royal, she's going to run it, racing up to the line, it's Ten No Trumps who's clear and who's going to win it in tremendous style, Ten No Trumps wins the Dresden Diamond Stakes, Tahila in second and third is Common Cider Gypsy, and fourth was Rondeling, that's the one, two, three, four, and the cheers echo.